According to the AUKUS Pact, concluded by Australia, the United Kingdom and the United States in September 2021, the Royal Australian Navy is expected to receive three Virginia-class nuclear attack submarines, SSNs, between 2032 and 2038. The other five submarines it plans to acquire will come from the SSN AUKUS program, initiated by London to replace the Royal Navy's astute-class SSNs. However, this timeline can only be met if American shipyards manage to overcome their challenges, including insufficient industrial capacity, deficient supply chains, and a lack of skilled labor. Currently, the production rate of Virginia-class SSNs, one per year instead of two, is insufficient to meet the needs of both the US Navy and the Australian Navy. Nevertheless, Canberra hopes this situation will improve. The Australian government is investing heavily with a $3 billion subsidy set to be released over the next five years to help the American naval industry expand its production capacity. Additionally, another $3 billion has been committed to funding the conceptual studies for the SSN AUKUS program. On August 5th, the three AUKUS countries signed an agreement authorizing the exchange of information and equipment related to naval nuclear propulsion. Submarines are a critical component of Australia's naval capability, providing a strategic advantage in surveillance and protection of our maritime approaches, stated the agreement, which, according to Australian Defence Minister Richard Marles, will meet the highest non-proliferation standards. It's worth noting that American and British SSNs are equipped with nuclear reactors powered by highly enriched uranium at over 90%, which is military grade. Hence, the Australian minister's comment on non-proliferation. However, the project to equip the Australian Navy with nuclear attack submarines remains uncertain. It will likely be realised, but probably not within the expected time frame. This has led to the suggestion of a Plan B, as proposed in a report titled National Security and Defence of Northern Australia, recently published by the Institute for Public Affairs, IPA, an Australian non-profit think tank. The IPA recommends purchasing the new B-21 Raider strategic bomber, developed by Northrop Grumman, and stationing a US Air Force squadron equipped with this aircraft in Australia to strengthen deterrence in the 2020s and manage the risk of delays in the UCAS submarine program. The acquisition of the B-21 Raider would provide Australia with a non-nuclear deterrent force and a significant long-range strike capability more quickly than with the AUKUS SSNs, argues the IPA, noting that the future American bomber could enter service by 2027. Our primary policy recommendation is that the government needs a Plan B, which would allow for an earlier military capability and provide a fallback solution if circumstances prevent the delivery of nuclear submarines, emphasizes the Australian Institute. In reality, the IPA is merely echoing an idea that was raised by Frank Kendall, the US Air Force Secretary, in August 2022. When interviewed by The Strategist, a publication affiliated with the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, he had indeed suggested that the United States would be willing to discuss the B-21 radar with Australia if the latter expressed a need for long-range strike capability. The Royal Australian Air Force did not entirely dismiss the idea at the time. If we were to invest in a long-range strike capability, then it would have to be done in a balanced way. We would need to be able to protect and sustain these platforms. So, while we could work with the United States on the B-21, it would only be a small part of the overall strike capability we need, explained Air Marshal Robert Chipman, who was then Chief of the Air Force. That said, Canberra still needs the means to acquire B-21 Raiders. The unit cost, including research and development costs, is currently estimated at 700 million. Now, do you think Australia is over-arming itself? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day. Please like, share and subscribe for more such stories in the future.